Hi there, welcome back to my Math Channel Math Web. In this video, I will answer your question number 6 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Mechanics 1. This exam is taken in June 2024. Paper FS code is WMB01-01. A box of mass M lies on a rough horizontal plane. The box is pulled along the plane in a straight line at constant speed by a light rope. The rope is inclined at an angle theta to the plane as shown in figure 3. The coefficient of friction between the box and plane is 1 over 3. The box is modeled as a particle given that tan theta equals to 3 over 4. Find in terms of m and g the tension in the rope. We need to find tension in the rope. The force acting along the string is known as tension. This is the tension actually. This tension is making angle theta. First of all, there are very important points uh, coming up in the question. You have to understand them. This object, this box is moving with constant speed. It means there is no acceleration. Acceleration will be zero. Therefore, the system is in equilibrium. In case of equilibrium, upward forces equals to downward forces and rightward forces equals to leftward forces. So this is the rule for equilibrium. So we could apply this rule. First of all, we have to resolve uh, the forces into its components. Here we have one force that is tension that is making angle theta. So we can resolve it into its component by drawing a perpendicular from its head like that. Like this, we will get two components for tension. This is the vertical component opposite to angle theta. This is known as T sin theta. And this is horizontal component. This is known as T cosine theta. Now, because this, this one is placed on a rough horizontal plane, therefore, this, there is a friction, frictional force acting. There, we have to show that frictional force. If the object is uh, moving right side, so we can show the friction force acting on left side. This friction force is always equals to mu r. This is the formula. We can say it, it is f max. Now there are two more forces acting on this, this box. One is uh, the weight acting downwards, that is mg, and normal action is acting upward, that is known as r. So these are the forces acting on, uh, on this system. Here, this point is very important, constant speed, so system is in equilibrium, we can apply the law of equilibrium. Uh, there is one more important point, we can, you can memorize this, uh, this trick, it is a very useful trick for you guys. Whenever in this type of questions, tan is given, by drawing a right triangle, we could find the other trigonometric ratio, sine and cosine. Let's say this is theta, tan theta is the opposite over adjacent, therefore this is 3 and this one is 4. Now you could find hypotenuse by using Pythagorean theorem. For sure, that hypotenuse will be equals to 5. We can find this hypotenuse by uh, using Pythagorean theorem. So it will be 4 square plus 3 square. For sure, it will be 5. This is a very useful trick you have to apply in all these type of questions. So we could find the value of sine theta from here. This will be opposite over hypotenuse. So it will be 3 over 5. And cosine theta, we could find adjacent over hypotenuse, so it will be 4 over 5. Uh, these two values will be very useful for us for solving these type of questions. Now, as the system is in equilibrium, we can write here in equilibrium. Why it is in equilibrium? Because it is moving with constant speed. If there is no change in speed, there is no acceleration. If there is no acceleration, the system is in equilibrium. In equilibrium, we can write here the upward forces equals to downward forces. Look at the figure. What are the upward forces here? There are two upward forces. That is, uh, one is r and other is t sin theta. Therefore, we can write here r plus t sin theta. These are two upward forces and equals to downward forces. There is only one downward force that is mg. So, you can write here mg. From here, you could get the value of r. It will be, uh, we will use uh, this value of r in upcoming equation. This is the way in all these type of questions do like that t sin theta this will go to the other side so it will be minus now use this way you can take a rightward positive rightward positive value and leftward negative value so both will be equal the rightward forces are here t cosine theta look here this is the rightward force and there is other force that is mu r that is leftward force so they are equal so we can write here t cosine theta will be equals to f max so, T cosine theta will be equals to mu r, f max is mu r, so you can bring this value there and you can uh, replace the value of r here. 
as well. So T cosine theta minus mu value of R that is mg minus T sine theta equals to zero. Hopefully you understand this step. What I did here, I just replaced the value of R from uh, from this one, from this equation. Now plug in the values of cosine theta, sine theta and mu. We already got the value of sine theta and cosine theta and mu is there. This is called coefficient of friction. This is called coefficient of friction and it is represented by mu. Uh, replace all these values. So T cosine theta, cosine theta is 4 over 5 minus 1 over 3 mg minus T value of sine theta is 3 over 5. Close the bracket equals to 0. Now expand the bracket. So it is 4 over 5 T minus 1 over 3 mg. This minus will make this minus plus. And also this 3 will cancel with this one. So it left with only plus 1 over 5 T equals to 0. We want to get the value of T only. Therefore, move this value to the right side and solve these two equations, uh, these two values. So on the left hand side, it left with only 4 over 5 T plus 1 over 5 T equals to 1 over 3 mg. 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 5 over 5 means 1. So this uh, left hand side is only t. 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5 equals to 1. So no need to write 1 here. So answer of uh, t will be equals to 1 over 3 mg. So this is the answer for the first part. Now let's move on to the second part of this question. The rope is now removed and the box is placed at rest on the plane. The box is then projected horizontally along a plane with speed u. This is the initial speed given to the box. The box is again modeled as a particle. When the box has moved a distance d along the plane, the speed of the box is 1 over 2 u. Find d in terms of u and g. This tension is removed from, uh, from this box and initial speed is given to the box. For second part, now tension is removed from the box and initial speed is given to the box here. This is the initial speed given to this box and it covers distance d. Let's say this is the distance covered by it. From here to here it is d. And final speed after reaching covering the distance d is the half u. If you notice that the initial speed is more than the final speed. Final speed is uh, less than this one. So there will be a deceleration produced in it. The speed is decreasing. When the initial speed is given to the box by any mean, so you know throughout the dist uh, this distance it is facing a resistance force. So work is done against the frictional force. We know that this is the frictional force is always equals to F mu r. As the surface is rough, therefore during this motion, uh, this box is facing a resistance force. That is, the, so work is done against resistance and uh, final speed. This is the initial speed and this is the final speed. As the final speed is less than the initial speed. Therefore, the deceleration is produced in it. That deceleration could be found by using Newton's second law of motion. Frictional force is on the opposite side of the motion. Therefore, we have to consider as negative. Negative F max will be equals to M Newton's second law of motion. This is the only force that is acting during the motion. Okay, that is the frictional force, and uh, that frictional force uh, is equals to mu r. We can uh, we can use the value for F max that is mu r equals to M a. In this case, R is always equals to mg. You can replace R with mg. So mu R is mg equals to ma. M is cancelled from both sides and replace the value of mu. Mu is equals to 1 over 3. Therefore, answer of deceleration will be equals to minus 1 over 3, 1 over 3g. So this is the deceleration during the motion. Okay. Now you can use the swath like SUVAT. The distance covered is d, initial speed is u, and final speed is half u, and deceleration is minus 1 over 3g. Time is not given. This distance you need to find. Now plug in the value of uh, all these values in this equation of motion. v square equals to u square plus 2as. You know this equation of motion. All these values fit into this equation. As we know that if three values uh, in Swarth equations are given, the fourth one you could find. Replace the value of v. v is 1 over 2u whole square. Initial speed is u plus 2. Acceleration is minus 1 over 3g. 
and s distance is t as this value is negative so you can move this value to left side and take uh, this value to the right side this is 2 over 3 g so it becomes positive on the left hand side 2 over 3 g d equals to u square this goes to the right side so it will be 1 over 4 u square 2 over 3 g d will be equals to solve this one it will be 3 over 4 u square from here we could get the value of d so d will be equals to this 3 multiply up so it will be 9 u square and this 2 g will multiply with 4 so it will be 8 g so the answer of d will be 9 u square over 8 g so this is the final answer of the second part of this question hopefully you understand it still if you have any comment or any doubt in this question please write in the comment box thank you